if you were um, just starting out and singing, you know, what would what would your advice be to somebody like that? Um, person just starting to sing out. Um, mm -hmm. Definitely um, listen to a lot of different styles. Listen to a lot of different artists. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then, what was the hardest for me was uh, when you start to find what you like. Mm -hmm. Then, like I said before, you kind of, in my case, you start to sound like them because you're trying to copy mm -hmm. every lick every how they sing every phrase mm -hmm. um so in my case everything sounded like boys to men but mm. as you listen to different artists and sing uh mimicking is great it's the it's the best way to flatter you know the original artist but mm -hmm. then once you get there um i encourage you to find your own voice your own style mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. and that's you know it, it comes down to the very basic of no one else could do what you do like you do. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to get to that point to where now people want to sing like you. Or it's almost like a puzzle where yeah. each of those artists, each of those influences brings a piece. And then like Absolutely. you put, you put it together and it's like, now that's you, you know, you yeah. are the, you're the culmination of all of those things. And like mimicry is a good way to get into understanding how they do it. And, but yeah. it's still not, you're never going to be them. So it yeah. kind of becomes you, you know, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. I remember uh, Mick Jagger said his whole time, he's just been trying to imitate Tina Turner. <laughs> and if you think about it, you start putting yourself like, You're like oh, wait yeah, a minute. he's doing Tina Turner. <laughs> and that's yeah. Mick Jagger because it's not, he's it's never been Tina Turner, you know? It's amazing. Right? I've never heard that before, but yeah. That's yeah. cool. That's yeah. Cool. And it was like, oh yeah, it totally makes sense now. You look at the, like, her performance and then what Mick Jagger attempts to do and that's his thing now, but I don't know, it's, it's very, and his singing style, you know, it's yeah. really kind of based on trying to be other people, but it, he does it as him. So I totally, totally agree with you on that. Like just listen to as many different kinds of music yeah, as you can, especially things that are maybe like not in your, normal listening um, collection or something. Absolutely. You know, go outside. And, you know, and there's, there's songs that I love to listen to, but I could never sing, you know, whether it's right. the, yeah. the range is too different or the vocal mm -hmm. style is so like, I can't sing like rock. Mm. If I tried, like I would lose my voice halfway through the song. Yeah. <laughs> it's, I can't wail and scream and shred like that. But <laughs> On the flip side, I love singing Luther and, and just oh, yeah. the slow, yeah. breathy ballad stuff, you know? Yeah. So you, you just got to, it, it takes a while and it's a, it's a journey that's never ending. Like I'm still, I mean, tweaking my, my style, finding mm -hmm. new things that I enjoy and mm -hmm. it's, it's a life process, but I think that's, that's music. That's life. You know? Totally agree with you that's the best part about it is there's not an end to it and if you really love it and you want to keep doing it no matter at what kind of level or what you call or consider success you just keep it that's part of your whole that's the lifeline you know that's mm -hmm. just part of what you do and um it should change over time because you change over time too right yeah absolutely. so it's like it's it's cool um that's what i love about it too it's like it's any kind of creative uh, you know, pursuit, uh, especially if it's something that you love, that you really love to do, that you have, you feel like you have to do it, then that's yeah. what you should probably be trying to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you'll get like a gut feeling of this. You know, this is the, this is my jam. This is who I am. Mm -hmm. This is my style. Yeah, yeah. At yeah. this time, it might change, at this time. But... I would agree. That's the great way to say it. It's like this is where I'm at at this time people get writer's block because they're like, oh, I used to, I always wrote because I would, this would happen, this would, and then I would write about it. Like I would wait till something upset me and then I would write about it and mm -hmm. I would use it as catharsis or whatever. And then you change in life and you're like, I don't have that anymore. What do I do? I've lost a lot of my falsetto, to be honest, where before hmm. I would love to glide up top, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I, I need to, I need to study that more to mm. try to get some of that back because I love doing it. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that I don't have it, I have to kind of sing the same song 
that I sang 20 years ago, but I would sing in a different way. Right. Uh, just right. because my instrument is different as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's changed. But I think it's interesting that you made the point where, you know, you pre- you wouldn't try to sing rock as much because it's just not how your your voice likes to go, I guess. Mm-hmm. Or where you like, I mean, it's definitely where you like to take it to, but you know, kind of like where your voice likes to go uh, mm-hmm. is is key to start to understand uh, your instrument, right? Because yeah. I'm sure there'd be a lot of people that would sing rock music that probably could not do what you do uh, in how you control your instrument and, you know, float and do, like you said, doing the things within the scales that, um, allow you to be you. So, yeah. 